Hello guys, this is Karuna, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I want to talk again about one uh, important topic, as I feel. And this is how you, just by yourself, without help of anyone, uh, can learn any deduct composition. I was inspired to make this video again because of some of you uh, who asked me to look into this or that composition, to learn it and then to post it on my channel. But somehow I don't feel to do this and I prefer to give you the fishing rod, fishing line and fishing hook instead of fish. Uh, in the lessons 32 and 33 on my channel here, I already spoke about this. Uh, how you recognize the key of the uh, Duduk composition, so the tonality of the music and the scale and how you can use it, um, this recognition, this knowledge, while using the program Amazing Slow Downer, uh, which I described in lesson 33, how to use it. So how you can adjust this melody, what you want to learn uh, with the Duduk you are currently having. And um, if it is not in the same key, how you can pitch up and down the melody and how in the amazing slowdown, how you can cut uh, the melody into very short phrases and slow them down and loop them and just learn phrase after phrase and then you learn the whole composition like that just by listening. Talking about myself, I am someone who cannot read music from the sheets, so I am someone who actually never felt to learn it properly. I, a little bit I understand, by, but I still don't know how to like play ornaments, reading them from the paper. I don't, I don't know how people do that, if it is possible at all, I don't know. So I am someone who just uh, who learned everything I know from uh, the living sessions with my teacher, who just would show me what to do, phrase after phrase, I would repeat, and that, that's it. This is, I think, the most effective uh, method because it's not only informational, but also a kind of energetic. But another option, if you don't have this opportunity to learn with the teacher, and I mean also paying money for this, of course, you can do it by yourself for free. But uh, recently I bought a new uh, computer, a new laptop, uh, and now instead of Windows, I have uh, MacBook. I'm still discovering what is there and how to use it. So I still don't have amazing slowdown on that system. Uh, two days ago, I discovered another program which exists only for MacBook. I found this Neural Mix Pro application. I don't know why it is Pro, since the program is very, very simple. I mean, it's like not Pro at all. It's super, super simple, but it has a little bit more functions than Amazing Slowdowner. I will introduce this program to you, uh, but before you watch this, uh, please watch the lessons 32 and 33. So, because I will not repeat everything I told in, the, in those lessons today. So, I will show you some functions of the program, how to use it, what are the advantages of this, and, and that's it. I'm in front of my computer. Uh, today we are talking about this Neural Mix Pro, and I will show you in the App Store how to find it. Also, we talked about Amazing Slowdowner. Amazing Slowdowner is ASD, if you go like that you will find Amazing Slow Downer. Very simple, this blue one. And if you go Neural, like that, Neural, neural Mix Pro, so it knows it already. This is the program, and this is how it looks. So already one composition is here on the timeline, this is Jivan Gasparian. We can open something else, everything what is imported into the iTunes, you have it here. Or you can just go to the file and open whatever you want. For example, Karuna CD. So this is my album. And if I pick um, now the first one, Morning Light, it will be open here. Now we'll talk about the functions of this program. Here on the left side you can see the layers of the composition. So they, this program is able to define uh, what layers the composition has and then you can mute or unmute uh, some of them. For example, you can just go with the vocals, you know, and then it uh, shuts down. Before the heaven you see all the music. But the music is here, you see? I just shut down here. The stars I mute all harmonics and all drones, we everything. Right. Only vocals are here. Inside. And basically what, what 
what the program allows us we can just go with one of the layer let's say to extract only vocals from here and then we can export it here and save as a separate file uh, maybe for some musical pro production uh, you need it you just can you know extract only one part of the melody separate this layer and then save it uh, in a file and then you can use it in your music production or something like that or you can just go with only uh, instruments without voice you see so it's just the voice disappeared but uh, today we will not talk a lot about this this is probably useful for some people but not for us who learns to do because basically we don't have such compositions where duduk is just a little bit somewhere and we want to learn it uh, to extract duduk from all the vocals and other instruments that, that would probably be not so much possible in this program amazing slow downer did not have this function you see there is a key here this is what the program does it tries to find out what is the tonality of the composition you are playing here because uh, as you as you remember uh, in lesson 32 here in the english lessons um, i explained you how to find out the key of the music so the tonality of the music and the scale but here the program already gives us the tonality so it, at least it tries you know but in this case in the case of uh, my song this morning light uh, it did it well actually so it is really B minor I played it on on the duduk in A in the key of A five fingers it was B minor what this program is able to do mostly yeah, in most of the cases it is able to recognize the drone key note of the drone it's not always what it does correctly but in this case it is correctly for some of you it's uh, even to find out what is the keynote of the composition it's already some effort and the program does it for you just be careful because uh, it does it not always correctly you know i will show you this case where where it uh, doesn't uh, make its, its job good but now it's b and this is nice if you have let's say the duke in a and five fingers b you don't need to pitch it up or down Pitching up and down is here, this function, you see? Pitching up and down. Exactly the same thing we did in Amazing Slowdowner. I will not repeat everything I told about Amazing Slowdowner because the functions of these two softwares are quite similar. So, but you can Remember do it like this, you know? How we wondered how it would be you see? to walk. And then it goes automatically to C sharp or to C, to C as if we are playing the B flat the duke, you know. Uh, and what we are interested in is the function of in and out. And this this is the looping. Wow, can you hear it? The thunder. How our father very, very loud thunder outside. We can click in and out, starting loop and ending the loop here on this panel. Or I can do it with hot keys. Let's say uh, this is the song, this is the timeline, the main timeline, I guess, like uh, a smaller version. So immediately I, I recognize where the music starts. So this, this would be the first phrase and I can go with... Like, for example, from here, you see the blue marker? This is the beginning. And let's say this is out. So, and the loop goes automatically. It's being played automatically. But the speed is too fast for us, yeah? because you are trying to uh, listen and repeat. That's why you go with the tempo down. And you can go with the tempo down. It's very, very slow. You can make it faster. And then you, after some time, you will be able to repeat it. Just uh, really find out if the deduk is correct, like the key is correct. If not, you go pitch up or down depending on your on the key of your duduk and then you play with the tempo making it as slow as you need up to s minus 75 percent which is enough so if you are finished with this loop you just unloop it and uh, let's say you start another one here i go with hotkeys like here you see 
and it goes, it goes, it goes, and then I go out, let's see, here. Very, very simple, guys, it's very, very simple, and make it slower. So let's try another one, uh, so that was B minor, but if we go to Bird of Heaven, again it's correct, it's A. A without M means A major. If with M would, would mean A minor, but this is A major, really. It's really correct. Just uh, you guys have to make some efforts here, of course. But this thing will give you freedom, you know, you don't need my help, you don't need anybody's help. Especially if the composition is simple, not so many ornaments and things like that. You can just do it yourself, not waiting for anybody to show you how to play any composition. Just go yourself. Yeah, this is freedom. And I like it. Let's try another one. Uh, let's say something oriental. So the composition number four in my album was Night Flight and I played it in Segia. On the Duke and A it's four fingers, C sharp. C sharp is the key note and Segia in C sharp. Let's see if the program is able to recognize it. You see, it recognizes C sharp, but it goes minor. Because of course the program is confused, it doesn't know Segia. It just feels okay, the mood is kind of kind of uh, sad or something. It's definitely not major, not happy mood. Yeah. But this is correct, I like it. I like this. It, it was able to recognize C sharp. Let's do it with another one. Looks like on my album this program is quite well working. I mean in terms of recognizing the key, yeah? Again it's correct, the key of D. D major, exactly. I'm not troubled by this world. It is correct. Let's try something else. Which is not that obvious. Looks like my album is easy for this program. Let's go to some something else. Um, Georg Dabagan, so the famous Hovren and Kahn played by Georg Dabagan. He plays it on the Duduk in B flat. Five fingers must be C, Shustar. Shustar in C. Let's see. Yeah. So you see the C here? The keynote is recognized correctly, but uh, the program thinks it is C major, but it's not C major, it's uh, Shustar. Over and Khan is split in Shustar. Uh, let's go to another one where it is not correct, just to show you that it could be not correct. This one, Levon Menasian, and it shows us E minor. E minor, no? But the composition is in B minor or B Shustar or something. Oh. Yes. Oh. It shows I'm looking now on my phone at the tuner and it shows B. Oh. But the program shows E. We are not talking about minor. Okay, we can, we can um, forgive this application that it doesn't know Oriental scales, of course. But the key tonality is is B here, not E. Yeah, it shows the tuner shows B in my case. Uh, hope it was useful for you. That was Karuna. Enjoy your Duduk practice, guys. See you again. Bye-bye.